I want to show you how to join yarn onto your project because there's it's very likely that you're going to be using multiple skeins of yarn so I want to show you the invisible knot trick that I use on all of my projects I love it I love it love it swear by it so I'm gonna cut my yarn pretending that I'm running out of yarn I've been working 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 I need to attach more yarn so I chained two at the end of my row take my stitch marker out turn my work attach my stitch marker by going around the chain two there we go gonna work a couple stitches so skipping first stitch slip stitch into the half double crochet then half double crochet up oh, I'm running out of yarn oh no so I'm gonna back it up give myself a little more slack Okay, I'm going to have the yarn that's attached to my project. I'm going to have it go this direction. All right, I'm going to grab a new skein of yarn. Preferably try to find a new skein of yarn where the beginning pull or the center pull will be the same color of yarn that you are finishing your project with. Okay, so you want these colors preferably to be the same color. If they're not, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. All right, so go ahead and bud those two up against each other again this yarn that's attached to the project going this direction brand new yarn going that direction butt it up against each other take two fingers wrap the two yarns around your two fingers grab the little tail here go over the two yarns between your fingers so that the little tail is pointing towards your fingernails grab that tail Remove your fingers and pull, and that'll form a knot. Great. Now let's make our way to the other side. So two strings of yarn, two fingers. Wrap around your two fingers. Grab the tiny tail. Go over the two strands of yarn between your finger and fingers so it's pointing towards your fingernail. Grab the tail. Remove your fingers and pull for a knot. Now you'll have two knots. Grab the string attached to your project and the string attached to the new skein of yarn and pull and those two knots will come in towards each other and form a very strong knot, a very strong join. I use this all the time, that knot stays put. In fact, you can cut the tails really close to that knot and it doesn't go anywhere. It is perfectly fine. Great. And then when you continue working, keep working, working, working. So there's the join. The join camouflages into the work and you have nothing to come back and address, no ends to weave in. You're done. And you just continue on. And then when you come back to look at where'd that join go, it has camouflaged into the work beautifully. Again, nothing to worry about. You can just continue working on your project. Awesome, right? So again, that is called the invisible knot join. Feel free to use it if you want to. I use it all the time. It's my favorite joining method, but if you have a different joining method that you really like, feel free to use that. This was just a trick that I thought I'd show you so you can have something in your back pocket just in case you need it.